to create a new sequence, select File New. ElectroPro software has four tabs, Creation, Configuration, View Graph, and View Sheet. So first, in the Creation window, select Line for the 2D acquisition. Electrodes will be located along the X coordinate. Then press Next. In the X width spacing, you enter the spacing between the electrodes in the field, so 5 meters in that example. And the X width size, this is the number of electrodes, so 48 in that case. It can be 72, 96, or other, depending on your system. The X width offset, this is the position of the first electrode, so 0 meters by default. Let automatic grid validate it for a standard array and click on create grid. Electrodes will be located along X and Y, Y equals 0 by default, and electrode 1 is located in 0 meters, and electrode 48 is located in 235 meters. So first electrode 1, last electrode 48. After that, you can click on Configuration tab. In the Configuration window, we are going to define first the timing parameters. First of all, enter a name for the sequence that will be stored into the unit. Select the electrode array, so Wiener Schumberger or Wiener Schumberger reciprocal, which is very interesting for the Syscat Pro unit as the measurement will be run with 10 channels simultaneously, so it will save time for the acquisition. Enter the number of channels, so 10 for the Syscal Pro, or 2 for the Syscal Junior R1 Plus or R2. Keep 10 in that examples. Choose Rho for resistivity measurement and 500 milliseconds for the timing injection. This window is relative to the quality control, 1 for the quality factor, 3 for the stack min, 6 for the stack max. It means that if the quality factor is better than 1%, 3 stacks will be measured. If not, the measurement will run up to 6 stacks. About the voltage, keep the by default value which is 50 mV in reception. It means that the unit will inject a voltage to receive each time 50 mV. And we keep 800V for the VAB max. Then, we are going to define the geometrical parameters we're going to define the spacing that will be used and the number of levels for each spacing. Different spacing correspond to different dipole lengths and that are used to increase the signal to noise ratio. In that example, we're going to define six levels for 1A, 2A, 3A, and so on spacing. Up to the maximum. In that example, the maximum corresponds to the investigation depth of about 44 meters. Keep 10 for the number of reception channels in case of the Pro and keep the three options validated for the optimization. Then create standard sequence button allows to generate the sequence. It gives information about the sequence and the acquisition time estimated. Click on OK and enter a name for the storage of the sequence in your computer. So you can keep, for example, the same name but in the syscal. Save. And now you can click on View Graph. In the view graph window, we can visualize the report point of the sequence along the X profile and along the Z direction. Different colors correspond to the different spacing that have been programmed in the sequence 1A, 2A, 3A, and so on. The black circles correspond to the gap filler query reports. These are the gap fillers that have been added for the optimization process. In the status bar, we can have an idea about the investigation that's estimated, the number of measurements, and also the acquisition time. After that, you can click on View Sheet. In the View Sheet window, we can visualize the position of the electrodes. You can see electrode from 1 to 48 with the position in X, Y, and Z. So X this is the length of the profile, Y equals 0 by default, and Z equals 0. This is the topography which can be entered after data download. In the right part, we can visualize the quadruples that will be measured. So we can have information about the A, B, M, and electrodes. So A, B injection, M, and reception that will be used for each quadruples. So in reciprocal, we can see that the A, B is internal and M, N is external. 
The geometrical factor for each quadri pole is computed and you can have also an idea about the investigation desk for each quadri pole. Those windows can be printed or can be exported as CSV file. After that, you can upload the sequence into the unit, validate the sequence, select File, Communication Port USB, and File Upload. We'll get a message showing that you need to select the right menu in the syscall and connect the USB link between the syscall and the computer. 